Hi ladies, welcome to Radiate Woman. I'm talking about cultivating healthy self-image. Your self-image is all about how you see yourself. And if you walk through life with poor self-image and poor self-esteem, um, it builds a lack of confidence in who you are. You walk around with a lot of doubt, a lot of insecurities, a lot of inferiority, and you're not able to fully maximize who God says you are and who who and what it is that you've been called to do because for you and I to maximize our destinies it's going to require a, a lot of confidence it's going to require a lot of guts and it's going to require a good right self image about yourself and I know some of us have made all of us have made mistakes along the way and sometimes those mistakes become so self-limiting and they become such a hindrance but you know what i want to encourage you today to do a few things the bible says in proverbs chapter 23 and verse 7 that as a man thinks in his heart so is he so whatever it is and however it is that you see yourself that's what you are if you go around calling yourself a fool calling yourself by the mistakes that you've made telling yourself oh i'm just useless i'm just an idiot i'm no good as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. You will be useless. You will be no good. And you will not maximize your destiny. The second thing I want you to do is to develop a love for who you are. There's a difference between loving who you are and walking in pride. The Bible tells me in Mark chapter 12 and 31, it says that we must love our neighbor as ourselves. You cannot love another person as you love yourself if you're constantly putting yourself down. When you're constantly putting yourself down, it breeds a very critical spirit and you're very harsh in the way that you judge other people because you've got self-esteem and self-confidence and, and, and self-image issues. You project those things onto other people. And uh, you can effectively appreciate others when you have healthy understanding and viewpoint of who you are. Love yourself for who you are. Train your inner voice to speak well about yourself replace the critical words with kind words remind yourself that Christ died for you the Bible said God so loved the world he sent his only begotten son to die for you and I remind yourself that you are just like Christ 1 John 4 and 17 says that as he is so are you in this in this world so you and I are beautiful we're fit for purpose I encourage you right now to rise up go out there be the best you that you can possibly be do not walk in self-doubt and do not walk in 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 low self-image and low self-esteem you know what if you made a mistake pick yourself up today and go out there and hit the mark love you ladies i'll see you tomorrow god bless bye-bye